Hello there, Aquarius. How are you? It's so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your May career and money tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I really would appreciate it if you would consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all your support of my channel. Okay, so let's Let's get into your reading Aquarius frog spirit clear out the clutter really interesting um you know uh, it's green <laughs> the entire card is like different shades of green um and green is your heart chakra I, you know um you know uh listening to your heart creating from your heart Clearing out the clutter around what it is that you truly want for yourself. Um, you know, listening to your heart and everything that's like not in alignment with what it is that your heart wants. It's like eliminating it. I'm really getting um, kind of like a strong Queen of Swords energy, you know, where the Queen of Swords takes the sword and cuts out everything that's not on her path, right? <laughs> nope, that's, you know, um, you know, that can be eating habits, um, exercising, uh, you know, uh, you know, journaling, it could be relationships, it could be jobs, it could be situations, um, patterns of behavior or beliefs, you know, just she takes that sword and cuts it out, but she also has a very nurturing side to herself where it's not cold hearted like the king of swords, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, you know, because it's from the heart. It's kind of like out of love for herself or out of love for her family, right? She is eliminating those things that are not really in alignment with what her heart truly desires. Um, really interesting energy. I think that's, um, you know, uh, somewhat different than your readings lately. I mean, it's still, it's still somewhat of your energy of what you've had lately, but it's kind of like a new twist on it. So let's see what your moonology, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah. I feel like there is that energy of, Ending a cycle, which is what you have had lately, but it's kind of like cleaning it up. <laughs> okay, uh, what they're saying is kind of like you know you have a really big party. Let's let's not even say it's a party. Say you have a wedding at your house. Okay, we're gonna say it's at your house, and there's like say you have a big house, <laughs> and you have like a hundred people at your house for this big party, this big wedding right? So there were lots of decorations. There were lots of people eating, drinking, um, dancing maybe, you know? Um, and now everybody's gone home in a way and it's time for you to clean up your house, right? It's that energy of kind of asking for permission to have, I'm getting this sense of like a day by yourself, if you can possibly get that, right? Or at least a couple of hours where you can just like sit. Um, and I honestly think it's about sitting in your own space, in your own environment, um, sitting there and asking yourself, what is it that you truly love about your home, your family, your life, where you are in life, where you want to go. Because you're at the end of this tough cycle and it's like, it's time to spring clean. It's time to take all of the garbage out from the big wedding, you know, or the big event. It's like, it's time to clear all of that clutter out so that you can see your house again. You know, like if you have a big party and you have tables and chairs and decorations and flowers and people, you can't even see the house, right? Um, so it's kind of like this energy of um, clearing all, all of that so you can see what you actually have and, and is it what you really want or not? 
it's almost like you can't even see what is in your house that you like because there could be so much clutter and it doesn't have to be with your house it's kind of like your house is actually a metaphor for your life okay so it's about you know taking a look at your life and you know eliminating you know you don't have to eliminate it right then but like okay let me take a look at every room in my house every sector of my life and see what is that i love and what i don't love and you know what am i connected to where am I putting my time and energy? You know, am I, is it fulfilling my heart? You know, is it bringing me love and joy? Or is this clutter in my life detracting me from what it is that I truly want? Uh, let's see, new life. Oh my gosh, you are really at the end of a tough cycle. You know, and I really feel like when we're at the beginning of a new chapter in our life, um, I really do feel, I, I'm going to say this, and I'm not like a neat nick, um, cleaning. Okay, cleaning is actually one of the best ways to help your root chakra. Um, cleaning is grounding, you know. Um, we, a spring clean, you know, a lot of times there's, you know, the tradition of spring cleaning. Um, but that comes from, you know, clearing out all the clutter of the winter, you know, changing over our, our seasonal clothes, you know, to the new fresher clothes. Um, you know, uh, I, I really feel like there's this essence of spring because, you know, all of this green. There's so much growth that happens in the spring. Think about the flowers, you know, the trees budding, um, the grass turning green, depending on where you live. Um, and even children grow so much in the spring. You know, I was an elementary school teacher and I, I swear sometimes the kids would come in and they would have grown an inch overnight um, because the weather gets warmer. And when the weather gets warmer, believe it or not, People, I mean, children actually grow faster in the spring than any other time. Um, so it is kind of interesting, you know, that you have this, uh, this time, but there is something about cleaning out in order so that you can take advantage of this new life. You know, it's interesting because um, uh, my daughter is getting ready to move and and you know she's married they're they're newlyweds they're very happy and she was saying that you know they're getting ready to move and they're kind of at that stage where you know some of their furniture is still from you know college years or early work years and you know there's they're going to want different furniture in the new house and they haven't purchased it yet but she was just kind of like I don't even want to move it into the new house like the only things I want to move into the new house are the things that I want in the new house. I don't want to bring any of that old stuff, right, from the old house into the new house. And, um, you know, she was kind of talking about, you know, having to really and truly, you know, clear out, clean out, say, no, that doesn't go. Um, how difficult that can sometimes be, but she said, you know, just the thought of when we get to the new house, there's nothing in the house that I'm going to have to deal with as far as, you know, uh, getting rid of it on the other end, you know. Um, so it is, it's kind of like this time to decide as you're moving into this new chapter of your life, um, what is it that you truly want there? Um, you know, what clear out the clutter? What is it that you don't? And, you know, since this is a career and money, you know, it's kind of like, where are you spending your money? You know, do you have to spend your money in all of those areas? You know, we have a new moon in Taurus on April 30th. So it's this week. Um, that's about looking at your finances. You know, where is it? What, where are you spending your money and where do you really want to spend your money? Are you saving enough? You know, um, are you saving anything? Right. So let's take a look at your, yeah, accelerated motion. Eight of wands. Moving forward quickly. 
I think you're moving forward quickly because you're willing to cut out the clutter. I mean, think about it, you know, um, take my daughter, you know, moving, right? Well, if you took every, if she moved everything that they have, right? Um, then, you know, the move would take probably twice as long, <laughs> you know? Um, plus then you have all that stuff to deal with in the new house. So it's, um, it's this energy of understanding. I can move forward quick, more quickly. I can grow more quickly in my new life. If I allow myself to let go of the sandbags that are holding me back, the burdens that are preventing me from, you know, moving forward quickly. Okay, so let's see what your main obstacle is. A spiritual strength. Yeah, nine of wands. You know, um... Being patient enough to understand that this is a process that is really difficult. It's just like moving, right? You can't just think you can move in one day because you have to pack things. You have, first of all, you have to decide what you're taking. Then you have to pack it and then you have to and label it and, and box it up and all of that stuff. Then, you know, the movers come if you're having movers or you have to get the truck or whatever. Uh, then you move it and then you get to the other side. You have to unload it. Then you have to unpack it. Then you have to organize it, right? It's kind of like understanding, okay, yeah, I'm moving forward. This is a process. I don't have to clean out all of the clutter in one day. I can take a week, a month. A year if I need to, to clear it out. And being patient with yourself and compassionate with yourself as you're doing it. Especially, you know, I'm getting the sense, some of you, you may have some financial debt. You're trying to get out of debt and you're kind of frustrated. Um, it's about understanding, okay, it's going to take a little while, you know, or you may be starting a new business and it's taking some time and you and you're, you're getting frustrated because while you're waiting for the money to come in, uh, it means that, you know, you can't eat out as much or you can't go on the vacations that you wanted to go on. Yeah, it's just taking time. All of that is part of us, uh, uh, you know, exercising our perseverance muscle, right? So what's your strength? Oh my goodness, this is the Ace of Pentacles. Prosperity begins. It is a new cycle. Like, I feel like your, your old cycle, right, was this cycle uh, that is coming to an end. But you have to allow it to end. You have to do the final cleaning. You, you, you have, I know Aquarius, from doing <laughs> your, your readings, you have cleaned out so much. You're probably sitting there going, Mary Sue, what else can I get rid of? Um, but there's something that you still need to let go of. So let's go see what that is. Um, and then I'm going, I am going, going to come back and, um, clarify these. So let's see what you have to uh, let go of in order for this prosperity to truly come in. Transformation. Allowing yourself to step into this new world. Allowing yourself to go into this new life. Sometimes that's scary, right? It's funny because Gemini had a little bit of this energy and, um, there was a quote that I, I tried to, um, to uh, kind of remember in theirs, and I'll try to remember it in yours, and then I'll, I will put it in the description box below, about that you can't um, go and explore other oceans unless you're willing to lose sight of the shore, something like that. Um, you know, this idea that you have to let go of what you are letting go, like you actually have to let go of it, um, in order to go into this new life. So I have a friend and, um, she, she likes to have a lot of things around her and we were talking about that and she, you know, she was like, yes, I'm willing to get rid of some things. So we packed up the things, but then um, she just wanted to keep them in the garage just a little bit longer, right? So we took them out of the house, but now they're sitting in the garage. And I was like, no, they're not really gone until they're out of even the garage. Let's, you know, 
put them in my car and go, you know, we were going to take them to um, a donation center. Um, so it's kind of that type of energy. It's kind of like, you probably have done a lot of cleaning, but maybe cleaning out, you've cleaned out your closets, you've done a really good job, but it's sitting in the garage. There's this energy of when you finally let go of it, <laughs> when you finally take it to the no donation center, or when you finally say, okay, it is out of sight, out of sight, out of mind, right? Then you have the room in your brain, in your energy, in order to step into this new life. And I'm going to say my friend was very grateful. <laughs> it did help her to have more clarity. Um, okay, so this is your advice. Emotional loss. Oh, okay, I totally get this. I'm going to pull another one. I totally get this, though. Yeah, okay. Move Solitude. Okay, that you may... Okay, you may even have to be, especially if there's people that you have to leave in your life or or say you realize that you have to move to a new city to get a new fresh start, right? Um, sometimes we do that. Sometimes it's kind of like, yeah, I really need a fresh start. I'm, I'm going to move to a new city. There is this energy of moving on. We have the Six of Swords here of moving on, of literally physically moving to a new location in order to be able to leave behind some emotional loss. So your advice is it's time. It's time to move on Aquarius. It's time to, to, um, you know, I'm going to say one of the things that I find really helpful. And I, I keep saying, I'm going to do a video about this one day, um, is moon rituals, you know, um, especially full moons and you know you had a full moon in Capricorn now I don't know what it when that is but you know we have a new moon April 30th um, if you need to take the month of May so the full moon would be like around the middle of May around May 15th May 16th um, if you need some time like the next two weeks to really kind of like start clearing out some of the clutter or whatever, whatever it is that, you know, be compassionate and gentle with yourself because this is difficult. And then with the full moon, having a moon ceremony because full moons are about coming things coming to an end, you know, ending that difficult cycle. And I always find, you know, like journaling, actually doing burning ceremonies, like writing out what it is that you're leaving behind, what you're looking forward in the new phase and actually burning that, you know, um, celebrating, celebrating the fact that you got through this difficult time. This was a difficult cycle. You know, it says the end of a tough cycle approaches. Um, and I feel like it's going to be the full moon in May. You're, you're at the very end. You see how this person almost looks like they don't have the energy. Like they want to move on. They're tired though, right? You've been through a lot, Aquarius. You've been through a lot. And it's kind of like, I don't know. Can, can I really hold on for the end? But look at the light is there. You're leaving the darkness behind. You're leaving the emotional loss of what you have had to clear out. Just like my friend, she's emotionally attached to her material things, right? Getting rid of that is difficult. Um, getting rid of people, situations, jobs, homes that you have had in your life is even more difficult, right? There's this energy of, yeah, I had to let go of all of that. And yet at the same time, you may not know what is ahead. I don't know what is ahead. You know, I want to keep my eyes on the shore because if I keep my eyes on the shore, I know I can jump off this boat and swim to shore. But the oceans out there are beautiful. There's so much for you to discover. There's so much adventure ahead. The light is calling for you to come and share your light, share your gifts. Um, that this is part of your transformation. Wow. Wow. Okay, um, 
this is really interesting because I was looking at this card and then got this message and then looked at this card and was like, oh my gosh. Um, it's like you are literally being born. Um, uh, you know, when we are born, we are pushed through the birth canal, which can be traumatic for the mother, traumatic for the baby, right? And I feel like that is kind of what you have been going through. It's interesting, Gemini got, I think it was Gemini, got this, a similar message to this like a couple of weeks ago or maybe last week. It's kind of like you're coming through the, the you're, you're coming through, you're like the baby coming through the birth can canal and into the new world, into the new environment. It's like, I mean, just think about that. Like, you know, coming, being born and all of a sudden there's like this big world, right? Um, you're coming, uh, yes, I, and look at this, you know, looking at the stars, understanding that you are part of all of it. You may have for a long time kind of been in this energy of feeling like um, you were by yourself, you know, like a baby is, um, unless it's a twin or a, tri a triplet. But, you know, you, you, you when, uh, you know, we're still, the mother is pregnant with the baby. The baby is like in the womb by itself, right? And now all of a sudden you are walking into this light. You are being born again. You are understanding that, you know, you can have everything that it is that you want. Wow. Okay, so let's see what we have here for the outcome. Triumph. <laughs> The truth. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. And passion ignited. Oh my gosh. Uh, lovely, lovely energy. Stepping into your truth. Stepping into this triumphant energy. You know, uh, this is, you know, the chariot card, the world card, the judgment, you know, uh, the universe is coming together. You are pa going to be passionately ignited. Um, and it could be with a person, but I really feel like it's within you. It's the Ace of Wands. It's, it's stepping into this energy of like, oh my goodness. You know, like I, I'm finally, finally seeing the light, finally seeing the truth of why I am here. Um, understanding that your life is now just beginning, you know, like everything up to this point was just getting you prepared for this. Um, okay. Yeah. Walking your spiritual path brings you the prosperity you are hoping for. And it's like, you're, you know, that it's Aquarius. I think, you know, that intuitively, you know, that. So what is holding you back? Yeah, you're just, yeah, you're just waiting. I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting, um, you're kind of waiting for a sign that it says, yes, this is the end. It's like you want a sign. Okay, are you sure? Are you sure nothing bad else is going to happen? Because it's been such a long trail. You know, it's like you're saying to the universe, I want to make sure if I put any more time or energy into it, I want to make sure it works, <laughs> you know? which I totally get is because you've been through so much. It's almost this energy of like, am I really going to do this again? Yes, you are. You're getting inspired. You're listening to your heart and you know intuitively that the sun is going to shine for you. That when you put your light out there, you are going to be rewarded for everything, all the time, the energy, the, the pain, that you have been through, you are going to be showered with truth and triumph and passion for going forward in a new direction. Wow. And I do feel, I feel like a lot of you are actually moving. Yeah. Ace of Wands, you know, getting inspired, following your heart. I would say whatever, listening to your intuition and following your heart, try to stay, um, out of the the logic you know um yeah nine of pentacles page of pentacles the magician you are <laughs> you have the strength to persevere through this last little bit 
Um, and because you are, you're manifesting everything, every single thing that you have been hoping for, you have been dreaming for. Um, it's coming into fruition for you and it's beautiful and you know it, <laughs> you just absolutely know it. Okay. So let's see, how can I infuse more self-care and compassion into my daily life? Um, if your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. And that's um, from Buddha. So it is, you know, um, taking good care of yourself, having compassion for yourself, understanding that you have been through so much, you know, that you have had a lot of emotional loss, you know, coming from the ending of patterns of behavior, of beliefs, of relationships, of jobs, of financial stability, perhaps, that you're finally at the end of it. You've gained all of this wisdom, this understanding that you can now use as you move on into your new life, right? And also at the same time, share with others, bring that wisdom to other people. So let's see what your instincts I act on my instincts and notice the signs and symbols of my life. You remember when I was saying, listen to your intuition, right? Um, don't allow your, your, your fears, your ego, because you have been through so much. You know, it's been a long, long journey. You're at the end. You're at the end. It's about holding on. <laughs> it's about holding on and truly believing, knowing that it is at the end and acting on your instincts. You know, um, going in the direction that feels good to you. And uh, knowing that you may not know the whole path ahead. It's okay. The Eight of Cups is about taking that first step, knowing that the next step will be illuminated for you. Inspiration. A wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura. It is important that you trust your intuition at this time. Okay, that is a message that has just kept coming up over and over again. Um, pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wonderful ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities into your life. Yeah, it's don't fear. Don't fear. Have absolutely no fear. Listen to your intuition. Your angels are with you. Your, um, your spirit guides. You have so much beautiful energy coming your way. So it's about trusting and moving forward in that direction. Well, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. I have really and truly enjoyed doing your reading. Um, I do do personal reading, so if you're interested, the link is in the description box below, or please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. And I do really and truly wish you much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now, Aquarius.